Thanks for tuning in. C. Anthony back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Errol Spence Jr. and the Ugas fight and also the future of Errol Spence. Um, recently, about seven days ago, my brother put up a poll, sports fans only. Will Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford get the fight in this year with 187 votes? 90% think so, and um, I'm feeling the same way. I'm feeling like that fight's going to probably be around, I'm thinking maybe Halloween, maybe a little bit before early fall, something like that. But as for the Ugas and Spence fight, that fight was, um, if you was, if you had been watching the Strap Season series, you'll realize, I think I might have mentioned that, um, I did get Ugas uh, his fair shot, but I thought that he had to be much more busier, a lot more punches. He wouldn't be able to just take that punishment from Arrow. In the past, you know, Ugas, he doesn't really lay on the ropes that much, but in this fight, Arrow just turned up. It was relentless body attack, and Ugas could not get away, and he couldn't put up the offense to actually get Arrow out of there. Word around the um, boxing community that um, I think he had a um, broken orbital bone in his eye, so speed recovery to Ugas. I know he's a soldier. He's a warrior. He didn't mention anything about retiring, but with a bad eye injury like that, I think he probably should consider taking it light, maybe um, take a long time off before he get back in the ring. Give me a second. As for Terrence Crawford versus Spence, that's, like I said, that'll be coming up soon. First, let's get to the particulars. Terrence Crawford, 5'8", with a 74-inch reach. Southpaw slash orthodox, call him a switch hitter. Arrow coming in at 5'9", with a 72-inch reach. Southpaw, relentless body attack. To me, this is lining up to be like that, um, some would say Ray Leonard and Hearns. Me, my opinion, I think is more like the Mayweather. And the um, Manny Pacquiao that we had, I think that was in 2015, 2016. The anticipation to build up right now. I think Crawford is approaching 35. Arrow, I think, is 32 or either approaching 32. So this is going to be a good one. As of right now, no prediction. But I do want to step into something that Sugar Ray Leonard was talking about a while back. I think as a couple days ago, he made a video. He's definitely picking Spence to lose this fight. He's going with the edge to Crawford. I will say that he did also pick Mikey Garcia to take out Spence. He was wrong with that one. But as of right now, Hall of Fame fighter Sugar Ray Leonard, he is going with Crawford. Right now, I'm thinking 50-50 right now. You're going to have that um, high ring IQ of Terrence Crawford, the pressure, the pressure. Takes him a little bit to um, adjust to your style. He likes to download the information, then try to dissect you as the fight goes on with combination punching and arrow. Straightforward, southpaw, relentless body attack. He might throw a looping left, looping right, straight left. But at the end of the day, he wants to get you to the ropes, walk you down, and put up um, high output of jabs. And relentless body attack, hooks, uppercuts, and all that. So this is going to be a good one. As of right now, I haven't heard anything about Vada testing. A lot of people are saying that they won't be Vada testing in this fight. I, I'm not going to say there is it or not, but I, I would assume that a fight of this magnitude, there would be Vada testing. So we're going to keep it right there. Salute to Tyson Fury with the victory with the uppercut on Dillian White this weekend. Hope you are enjoying the strap season. I think right now we're on part five or six. Tank Davis in the works. Salute to all the viewers, everybody in the comment section who did check out the Ring Kings, Mike Tyson, episode one. 15K views in two days, so appreciate it. Be on the lookout for more content coming soon. Four belts on the line. Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence coming up soon. Sports fans only. Peace.